Good day, this is Dr. Amudha Priya, Associate Professor Tripoli from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. We are discussing about the power system operation and control course. And here we are going to discuss upon the lecture of integration of economic dispatch control with load frequency control. So what is an economic dispatcher? So economic dispatch is the optimum allocation of the generators in order to meet the load demand is known as economic dispatcher. So this economic dispatch control is of vital in action. In LFC, zero steady state frequency error and a fast dynamic response are being obtained using integral control action. But this control is independent of economic dispatch and that there is no control over the economic loadings of various generating units of the control area. So we have to practice certain additional, uh, I mean certain additional considerations have to be given in order to consider the economic dispatch also. A suitable and satisfactory solution is obtained by using the um, independent controls of load frequency and economic dispatch. The load frequency controller provides a fast acting control and regulates the system around an operating point whereas the economic dispatch controller provides a slow acting control which adjusts the speed changes settings every minute in accordance with the command signal generated by the central economic dispatch computer. So while considering the speed changes settings when it is changed in accordance with the economic dispatch controller conveniently it is modified by the signal um, ACE, I mean integral ACE at that instant of time. The CEDC provides the signal and this signal is being transmitted to the local ADC. The system they, which they operate with the which operate with the economic dispatch error is only for a very short period of time before it is being readily used. This tertiary control can be implemented by using EDC. And this EDC is uh, mainly focusing about the cost characteristics of the generating units. Uh. The speed changes settings uh, are once again operated in accordance with an economic dispatch computer program. The CEDCs uh, are provided at the central control uh, centers uh, while uh, the variable part of the load is being carried by the units that are controlled from the central, I mean central control center itself. Uh. So when uh, considering the peak load hours, uh, Lesser efficient units like a gas turbine units, diesel units are being employed in addition. The generators operating at the partial output and the standby generators are being provided with a uh, provider reserve margin. The central control center monitors the information like uh, uh, area frequency, outputs of generating units, and the tiling power flows uh, to uh, for uh, to like, I mean tiling power flows between the interconnected systems uh, or interconnected areas. All these informations are used by the ALFC in order to maintain an area frequency within a scheduled time period. Uh, raising or lowering of the reference power signals are being dispatched to the turbine governors of the controlled units. Obviously, the economic dispatch is being coordinated with LFC so that the reference power signals are dispatched to the controlled units. This will move the units toward their economic loading and then satisfy the low frequency control objectives. So this is how the action is being explained with the and finally which reaches the control area in action with both economic dispatch control and low frequency control.